Here is another video for my playlist on statistics in the media. There was a significant amount of media coverage triggered by a study on exercise by Sato et al. In short, this paper argues that three seconds of exercise each day for 20 days increases muscle strength by 10%. Of course, the media went crazy, little effort and great impact. Everyone loves that. So you see um, headlines like no time to exercise, what about three seconds a day? And that is followed by other headlines, exercising for even three seconds a day has great health benefits based on a study. And here that's um, the um, Mail Online. Lifting weights for just three seconds a day may help strengthen your muscles, scientists say. Let's look into this paper a bit more carefully. The beauty of knowing data analysis is that you can read empirical papers in other disciplines. It is good and useful to know statistics. I have to stress the paper is very well executed. They also mention the limitations, however, these limitations are not discussed in the newspaper articles. But actually they do matter. First I should change my outfit, because I think um, it doesn't really work with the topic. Let's get that fixed. Let's try that. So that's better. Um, by the way, I'm not sponsored by Chimshark, um, just in case you're wondering. I, I, I did ask, so I, I did drop an email and um, there they said no, um, no, they said no, no way, they said. Anyway, let's get um, back into statistics. Um, and um, of course, I already expect some comments and just before you, you wonder, yes, I, I do lift. So at the end of the video, I demonstrate the impact of following this exercise regime for 20 days. So a trigger warning is needed. There will be partial nudity by a person in the age category of 44 plus plus. So um, if that um, upsets you and leads to um, long-term damage, I suggest um, you, um, you stop watching. Um, if you want to have a bit of fun, um, let's continue. Of course, um, this is um, all in the name of science um, and hence it's an essential part of this little exercise. There you always have to try whether things really work. Now, the types of movement analyzed in this study are best illustrated with a bicep curl. So if you don't know what a bicep curl is, um, I um, will show you. In fact, um, our unpaid intern will demonstrate a bicep curl. For health and safety reasons, um, these are obviously fake weights. There is an isometric part of the movement where the muscle is stationary. Then concentric movement. So that's the lifting movement followed by eccentric movement, that's the lowering movement. Well done. That was hard, maybe. Now going back to statistics, what are the issues? First, the sample size is very small. There are only 10 people in the control group and 13 people in each of the three treatment groups. So that is a very, very small study. Genetic variation is very important in this context. So usually if you want to do analysis um, about um, muscle gain and exercise, you should aim for a larger sample just to even out um, genetic differences. If you only select 10 people in the control group, it depends a lot on your ability to select people at random. Moreover, the group selection is, um, is a bit difficult if your sample size is very small. In particular, to have an even number based on biological sex, because that has quite a significant impact 
on the ability to gain muscle through exercise. So looking at the sample size, I would be very reluctant um, to argue that these findings are 100% robust. But again, I have to stress that the paper discusses this in detail. So they don't try to hide the facts, they clearly outline it's a small sample. Of course, in the newspaper article, this is um, not necessarily made very clear. The other issue is that the exercise is quite limited. We literally talk about a three-second lift. So normal daily activities, so even if you don't otherwise exercise, could interfere with this very limited amount of exercise. So for instance, if you literally clean your room, if you vacuum, um, if you do some gardening, you might already hit the three seconds of activity. Second, statistical significance is not necessarily economic significance. So nowadays you can measure almost anything very, very precisely. But this does not mean that the effect has any economic or really, you know, visible effect. Put differently, you might be able to detect a mosquito bite on a spaghetti, but it does not mean that you will notice the gain in muscle strength. Third, uh, the study focuses on people that never did any exercise. So you go into this newbie gain territory and um, hence the effects measured will be a lot lower for people that have done years of lifting because you need of course progressive overload and obviously by three seconds lifting it's unlikely to do this. What can be learned from this study? Do not trust newspaper articles and I think that's a general statement. Um, always dig in, look at the underlying papers and look at uh, the validity of these papers. These um, newspaper articles do not really understand uh, the statistics. Exercise always pays off and I think that's important to note. Yeah? So start lifting. So even a little exercise will do something. Now for the fun of it, here is the result after 20 days of exercise. Of course, um, I have to say I modified the exercise routine just slightly. So instead of 60 seconds in 20 days, I did four hours per week. Then I add 10,000 steps um, every day. So that's steady state cardio, um, no cheating, every single day, 10,000 steps. And finally, of course, I follow a quite a strict diet. Of course, no um, alcohol, not possible um, if, you, if you really want to make um, gains, in particular at a certain age. And of course, as always, plenty of data analysis. And I think this is exactly what you should do. So I think this is a nice video for the pre-Christmas period. Exercise really pays off. So enjoy your Christmas break and make sure that you hit the gym in the new year. I see you then.